بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على صل وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أهل السنة والجماعة they strive to traverse a straight path and they strive not to differ to hold together the main body of Muslims as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fi kitabi al-kareem wa atasimu bi habli Allahi jami'an wa la tafarraku Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and hold all of you steadfast together to the rope of Allah and do not divide that's the minhaj of Ahl al-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said wa alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al-khulafa rashidin al-mahdeen uh, the Prophet Salawat al-Rabbi wa salamu alayhi said It's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa meaning Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in However you see for example in modern times you see the various groups and sects splitting and dividing everyone calling to their own way their own madhab their own minhaj for example, you have Akhwana Muslimin. Look at what they're doing. They call to their jama'at into the secret bay'ah, into issues of tikfir and, and other than this. Political, their political participation and so forth. And you have jama'at tabliq. They call to khuruj. You know, just going around, call, inviting people back to the salat, regardless of whether their aqidah is, instead of fixing the aqidah and calling people to tawheed and all of its manifestation to, to worship Allah alone to to acknowledge and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his divine names and attributes and affirm their meanings as Allah affirms them in, and as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa affirms them and negate what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa negates and, and, and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates on himself and like the Diobandis and the Naqshbandis and the very Sufi groups and the Barelawis, and all the various groups and sects that have divided. Because the Prophet ﷺ let us know that we would divide in authentic hadith. The Prophet ﷺ said, If tarqatil Yahud alayhi wa sabi'in firqa, wa if tarqatil Nasara alayhi wa sabi'in wa sabi'in firqa, wa sa taftariku hathihi umma ala thalatha wa sabi'in firqa, كلها في النار الواحدة كنا من هي يا رسول الله قال من كان على مثل وما كان عليه وأصحابه اليوم Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the Jews were breaking the 71 sects the Christians in the 72 sects my ummah in the 73 sects all of them in the fire except one then they said who are they ya Rasulullah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said those who are upon my sunnah and the sunnah of the and, and, and the son of my companions. So they follow my way and the way of my companions. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. That's the method of Ahl Sunnah. We don't call to individuals. We don't call to sects. We call to the rightly guided path. We call to Kitabullah and Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As Shaykh and Shaykh Muqbal al Hadi al Wadi said in his tape entitled. Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah. The Sheikh said, very, very beautiful statement. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him and bless him with Jannah to Firdaus. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. He said, Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah. Da'wah to Ila Kitabillah. Min Kitabillah. Wa ila Wa min Sunnati Rasulullah. Sunnat. Wa min Sunnati Rasulillah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Illa sunnati rasulillah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The, the, the sheikh said That the da'wah of Ahl sunnah In a nutshell That it is calling From the book of Allah To the book of Allah And from the sunnah Of the messenger of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam To the sunnah of the messenger of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Letting us know That da'wah to Ahl sunnah Is not about division it's the da'wah calling to kitab wa sunnah. It's the da'wah following the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we mentioned. Wa'atasimu billahi habli lahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. 
hold on, all of you stand fast to the rope of Allah, and do not divide, and we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from division any further than we've already divided. May Allah unite the hearts of Muslims and bless them to be as one. Have mercy upon our brothers and sisters who are suffering all over the world. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rectify our condition and affairs and help us to come back to Kitab Allah. Wa sallam to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the minhaj of the salaf of the su'ummah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.